A heavily attended school board meeting in Pflugerville tonight where parents and teachers are raising concerns over what's called a district of innovation. School districts can decide to go for that designation, which gives them a lot of the same flexibility available to charter schools. KXAN's education reporter Aaron Cargill live in Pflugerville with more. Robert and Shannon, the meeting just ended a few minutes ago. School board members said they actually liked the large turnout because it's something that doesn't happen very often here. And what drove teachers and parents here tonight is the fear of the unknown. A district of innovation is something lawmakers passed last session. It gives school boards a lot more local control, decision-making power that does not have to line up with the Texas Education Code on everything from teaching practices to curriculum. A teacher here tonight tells me this is how Pflugerville ISD has talked about using it to their advantage, starting the school year earlier in mid-August versus late August and hiring hard-to-find career tech teachers who are not certified teachers. For example, hiring someone to teach plumbing or vet tech. The flexibility, though, worries some because they want to know what the district might try to do down the road that they're not talking about now. This would allow the district to change that ratio and increase classroom sizes at elementary campuses. It also could possibly potentially allow the district to hire uncertified teachers in more areas than just CTE. The core of this community has been the public schools and uh, we've always had uh, high academic expectations and I think that will continue. Now take a look at this list of local districts that have already gone through the steps to become a district of innovation. Pflugerville has a long way to go before a decision is made. Tonight they talked about forming a committee to explore it further and the school board president told me transparency is number one in this process. Live in Pflugerville, Aaron Cargile, KXAN News.